Assigned roles determine what a user can and can't do in Blackboard Learn. Let's take a look. A role is a group of privileges. You can assign roles to users to determine what functions are available to them. For the most part, roles function the same whether you have the Ultra or Original experience configured on your Blackboard Learn platform. Blackboard has three types of roles. System roles, course and organization roles, and institution roles. Before a brief overview of each role, let's take a quick look at the administrator panel. To see the roles currently on your system, go to the user section of the admin panel. For each of the three role types, you can view the existing roles. Here are the system roles. From a roles menu, you can edit its properties. You can also create a brand new role. When you set up a user account in the admin panel, you assign the system and institution roles. Course and organization roles are set when a user is enrolled in a course. Now let's get an idea of each role's purpose. First, let's look at system roles. System roles grant or restrict a user's access to the administrator panel. You can create custom system roles with just a subset of the full system administrator privileges. For users that don't need administrator access, their default system role is left as none. When a user has multiple system roles, the privileges granted are additive. Now let's look at institution roles. Institution roles control what users see when they log in. For example, in the original experience, the user's institution role controls the brands, tabs, and modules they see. In the Ultra experience, the user's institution role can control the brand, institution page, and modules they see. Institution roles can also be used to grant or deny access to the content collection or tools like portfolios. Common institution roles are faculty, student, observer, and guest, but you can create additional custom roles. Each user has one primary institution role and can have more than one secondary institution role. Both system and institution roles affect access to areas of the platform outside of courses and organizations. And finally, let's look at course and organization roles. Course or organization roles control access to the content and tools within a course or organization. Users are assigned a role for each course or organization they are enrolled in. For example, a user with a role of student in one course can have a role of teaching assistant in another course. Use Blackboard's roles to manage user access to functions in the system. It's good practice to log in as a user with the roles you assign to verify the user's privileges match your expectations. You can find more information for each role on help.blackboard.com.